Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Soothing water sounds. Drippy, drippy water sounds. It is Kodelka time. What is, what is this? What, what have I done? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Hmm. I wonder if that's visible on the stream. It looks like it. Yeah. What does this mean? I don't know. Can you maybe deactivate and reactivate? That's something else. What is that? Oh, that's the webcam. Maybe. Yeah, I bet it is. No. It's this browser. That's, oh, that's my bad. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize that was active. Okay. okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, Kodelka. We're playing Kodelka. Um... I think we were we were backtracking because yeah you need two dolls you found one because yeah. there's twin ghosts yeah. and they attack you I just you I just them. have all these items that like don't do anything uh got the necklace I've got the glass part which we could go use uh, the earring, the ring, the tablet, the statue, the arm we just found. We've got another glass part. We got a music box. We got one doll and a mask. Like, we've just got so many things. Um, I feel like... I feel like right here we need some kind of vessel. You know, because there's like... Mm -hmm, a yeah. tank of acid, and I know that there's a, uh, like a fresco mm -hmm. set into a wall that we're supposed to be able to get if we pour something on it, but we don't have a vessel for it. Hello, Jeff. What up, Jeff Coran? How are you? There are human bones scattered everywhere. Climb the stairs. What's this? Nothing. Like, here's the, the girls that want the doll. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think they have, yeah, they have the green key, which is what we need for this door. So you can't even damage them if you fight them. Yeah. Oh, Jeff says he's playing Fallout 76. Oh, really? I have access to that through Xbox Game Pass on my PC. But I don't think I'll probably play it. Are you enjoying it? I, I, I feel like it's one of those that, you know, supposedly got better after launch. I just know it had a lot of issues at launch. Ooh, Jeff says he enjoys it, but he also bought it dirt cheap. Yeah, I feel like that'd definitely be the way to do it, is to buy it cheap. Because if, if you spent, like, full price... Plus, you got your nylon bag. <laughs> yeah, plus DLC and all that shit, like, you'd probably be pretty mad. I mean, I bet it's I bet it's really fun for a while, at least. I mean, it's probably more fun if you have friends to play it with. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's one of the reasons I usually don't get into or, or stick to MMOs, is because I don't like playing with people very much. Exactly, Jeff. Who needs friends? Precisely. Hello, Colin. What up, Colin?
By the way, if our internet drops out and we disappear, it's it's storming here. Or it's about to storm really bad, it looks like. Like, we're under a tornado watch, so who knows. It's just, like, really hella windy right now, so... We'll try to let the Discord know if the stream drops and we lose power or internet or both or whatever. But until God stops us, we will provide the games for you. <laughs> exactly. Oh, fuck, we gotta start throwing shit away. Um... Just get rid of that rifle. What good is it doing you? I mean, honestly, it's not doing me very much good. I don't know, maybe that mystic weapon? Sword? Yes, yes, there you go. That's... I was trying to remember what some of these things did. I... Where is it? Is that it? Yeah. And Jeff said, ooh, a tomato watch. I love tomatoes. To to oh, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, a tomato watch. See what our equip our equipped items are looking like. I don't I don't know where we're going. Okay, I guess we're just backtracking. Yeah, that's what you said. But, like, once you get here, there's nowhere else to go, right? Um, I thought there was a way you figured out how to get back into the house. Because you got the red key, and you went back oh, in yeah. the room those people were in. Maybe that's where the way I should have gone. Maybe I'm an idiot. I mean, it has been over a week. Very what? easy to forget what was going on. I just don't know why I backtracked. Oh, I... You, you I, yeah. went to fight the girls because you thought you only needed one doll. Yeah, you're but right. But they said, when you talked to them, they said, we want our dolls. Yeah. So obviously yeah. there's one we yeah. haven't found. Because, like, the one I have specifically has one of their names on its yeah. foot. Okay, yeah, so we need to go back into the house proper. Uh, okay, so let's head that way. In a shocking turn of events, I'm very sleepy today. I know this will come as a surprise to everyone who's acquainted with me, but I'm very, very sleepy. I keep doing this thing where I eat lunch, uh, you know, at noon during my work day, and then my my brain just shuts off. I've done it all, all week this week. So the second half of my day is just fucking misery. This thing... Oh yeah, this like baby in a pile of bodies. It's fucking weird. Trying to level their magic up still. Where you going, baby? We are not connected at all. But we're not connected? Um, we're still good. You guys still hear us. It didn't tell me it disconnected, but it did say that our upload rate dropped to zero. Hell yeah. Well, the chat's still going, so I think we're good. Okay. There's also this path over... Uh, it might be back there. I don't know. There is that other path with that fucked up green door. Um, okay. Can we go through... I think we can go through here. I think this was the red... The red key door. 
or this was one of them. I think this is where we got the doll. So that's not where we want to go. We want to go here. And then up these stairs. There's still that too, which we don't what? understand. When you step across those lines on the floor, it makes a creaking noise. Yeah. Oh, remember we got to that puzzle where you have to like walk a certain way. Yeah, and we have part of the answer. Yeah, we never figured it out though. I'll save here and again um, I can't save with the actual save mechanics for some reason so I think there's not a BIOS uploaded for this because it said that when I one of the times when I was setting up for you the PS can't, you can't run a PS PlayStation game in RetroArch without a PlayStation BIOS though okay it was just telling me that one time when I started uh, for the I don't know maybe I need to update them I don't know there's that dude up there that, uh, that we James just shot. Up, yeah, James straight up just shot him in the head. No, Edward. James is the bishop. Oh, Edward yeah. Is the dude you always call Jack. How's Wednesday treating everybody? How how's the week been? How's your week been? Mine? Yes. Um, fine. I ain't done shit like usual. Yeah, yeah. That's not true. I've played a ton of Dragon Quest. Yeah, you've been playing a lot of Dragon Quest Builders. You played you built a wall in Dragon Quest Builders for about four hours last night. Week, Sleepy. Just tired. Don't want to work. Mm -mm. <sighs> we finished watching the available seasons of Better Call Saul, so now we're rewatching all of Breaking Bad. While We wait on the next season to get uploaded to Netflix. Mm -hmm. We gotta watch the movie, too. Yeah. Breaking Bad is not as long as I remember it being. Because I think we're already on season three, right? I think we're about... We're almost done with season two. Or we oh. may have just finished season okay. two. Maybe it's a little longer than I thought it was, then. It's just like when you watch it, when it comes out, it seems like it goes on forever. Yeah. Colin says he worked on some black metal today with Lila. Well, that's fucking cool. This is the first area of the game. This is not where I need to be. Yeah, like I think you came out through that door that was locked. Yeah. So now you just have access to this beginning part again. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you haven't gotten um, that journal back yeah. yet. I mean, I could go get that, but I don't think that's going to help us progress. But I'll go that way anyway. Out of curiosity. <clears throat> I just feel like we've got all these things for this like statue, this jewelry. And yeah. I feel like we should have run into that by now. I mean, there was a statue in a save room down there, but... But it, I think it's just a save room, you yeah, know? I don't like think it has anything to do with, with anything. Uh, I think this is where you use... Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a room with, like, a stained glass window. 
Is that oh, no, the, no, that's the box. That's the box. I mean, I can look up the code. I think I had it written no. down somewhere. I mean, I need to go back to that room anyway. I just need to look at all the rooms. Backtracking, backtracking, backtracking. Of course, this is the end of the hallway. So where is that room? Um, there's stairs, or there's a ladder that you have that takes you down, if you don't remember. If you go Oh, by. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can come back up from there. I was thinking that's the drop off into that prison cell, but you're right, there's a ladder there. I forgot. You watch any movies lately, Jeff? Not lately. We haven't either. No. We watched Totoro. Before that, we watched The Power of the Dog on Netflix, which was really good. I would highly recommend that. But I've definitely been more in the mood for TV. Here we go. So have you not fought? Is there a boss here? The, yeah, but now it's turned it like we fought it, so oh, it's okay. a safe space now. But I can also do this. Seven oh three eight. And also, I don't know that I ever went through this door. Or wait, is this the drop-off? Maybe. Yeah, it is. So we don't want to go that way. What's up? Nothing. I was just writing down the number just in case. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and save state again here. Um, so what else is down here? There's that room. Is this a door? There's some bullets. A lot of bullets. Oh, I can't actually. No, I, it's the same ones. I right. fought. I keep trying to pick them up. You can't carry any more right now. Uh, there's fucking nothing down here. That's not a door, is it? It's hard to tell what the yeah. doors are sometimes. And then you come back here, and it's just this. Is this a door? No. Okay. I, I can't. <laughs> can't. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't get back up the ladder. Maybe you have to jump back down in the basement. Surely you can climb the ladder back up.
Mitchum asks if we've ever seen the show Fishing with John. If we've ever seen what? The show Fishing with John, which I know, I've never heard of, but that's not a surprise. I mean, I'm not very aware of much of anything. I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is. If you don't fucking climb this ladder, I swear to God. Like, are you serious? Can you not climb back up? You you can, like... What? You're in front of it. You need to look back at it. Oh. Okay, my depth perception yeah. is just all fucked. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. I couldn't tell either until I, like, sat up and looked directly at it. Fishing with John. Like the Primus song, John the Fisherman. Alright, 7038, right? Yep. Okay, so we read that diary before the, the, we lost the saves, but... It's, it's just a extremely very, long. It's very long, so I'm not going to reread it. But it, yeah, it's like a, a diary from like a, a guard, which I, I think it's like a, a medieval guard, yeah. right? But like they're just talking about how they've come to this place to work as a guard. It's like a monastery or convent or whatever, and people are being killed and shit. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of go crazy at the end. Like, I don't find it particularly useful. <clears throat> even even lore-wise, really. Uh, Mochum says, uh, from what they know, it looks like a fishing show on the surface with guests like Dennis Hopper, Willem Dafoe, and Tom Waits, but apparently it gets weird. <laughs> that sounds intriguing. I would definitely want to I'd check watch that anything out. with Tom Waits. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'd watch Tom Waits, like, eat a sandwich. Also, hello, Tirith. Tirith! Tirith says Burger King Foot Limtus. She, she said what? Burger King Foot Limtus. Burger King Foot Limtus. This Burger King Foot Limtus is straight bussin'. How about, like, gargantuan shout out to Tirith for gifting us. Oh, Gamer Light? The, uh. You fucking killed my joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Gamer Lights. <laughs> Tirith sent us some incredibly nice uh, gamer mood lighting. Some some RGB lighting strips and a, uh, a galaxy projector that has transformed our living room into the ultimate gaming layer. <laughs> Just looking for doors that I've missed, but I don't. Is that a door? Or is that? No, that's that's the same. That's the door you come in through. All right, and like you can't come this way, right? There's nothing. Okay. So I I, I don't think there's anything there. I'm gonna look at the map real quick. How dare you! What kind of a gamer uses the map that's built into the fucking game? True. Tira said, five hours of relaxing Tom Waits eating a sandwich seductively. I'd watch that. I'd watch that.
There's some Tom Waits movie that we've never, or it's not a Tom Waits movie, but it's a movie that he's in, you know, we've never seen it. I think it's that movie Seven Psychopaths. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, Christopher Walken in it, too. I don't know who else is in it, but whoever, like, one of the younger stars is, uh -huh. I saw an interview, like a clip of an interview with him on some talk show, like some, like, Tonight Show kind of thing, where he was talking about working with Tom Waits. Yeah, I feel like I've seen what you're talking about or something yeah from that same interview because he's like there's apparently a scene where he has to like sign something or like you mm -hmm. know like put a signature on something and like the war like the prop department brought out like you know like a a big set of you found a dirk hidden behind a picture frame is that just a weapon or is that important I think it's just a weapon. Um, but I brought out a big, like, uh, rolled up container of, of, like, fountain pens and shit. Uh -huh. Like, unique pens. And he was just supposed to, like, grab one and, and use it. Uh -huh. And Tom Waits is like, yeah, you gotta, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. And he's like, well, what do you mean I gotta be careful? And he's like, oh, all them pens. Each one got a different story and it. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, Tom Waits? <laughs> uh, Tirith said, he is very full by the end and just looks like the Dennis the Menace bean scene. <laughs> oh, Dennis the Menace bean scene. Dennis what the a... Menace's mean bean machine. <laughs> what a fucking curse <laughs> that I inflicted on you. <laughs> Butcher says, I saw Seven Psychopaths when it was new and I remember absolutely none of it. <laughs> I, 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 there's always one scene I see from it, like, like posted on Twitter and stuff. Cause it's a scene where, uh, a bunch of dudes surround Christopher walking on the road with shotguns and they're like, drop your, drop your gun. And he's like, I don't want to. And they're like, why? And he's like, I just don't want to. And they're like, but we'll kill you. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and they're like, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Like, I'm sure it's a movie I would possibly enjoy. I don't know. Like, can you take anything off this table, maybe, I, for the acid? I'm, I'm trying. I tried so hard to play this goddamn game. <laughs> I got a dragon statue that I guess was just <laughs> sitting on the table. I think this game is fake. <laughs> Like, it just gives me all these... I, I, It's not even letting me pick stuff up or discard things. Like, okay, I've got to, like, get rid of some shit, apparently. Like, I guess I'm not using weapons and armor... Or weapons and consumables fast enough for it. Uh, fuck. So... <laughs> the evil horn... I, I don't I don't know I don't know what I should get rid of I don't really want like I would start with knives maybe because I feel like I, those I are the so. lowest level things because that's what I told you to do was have Edward use knives first and save things like axes yeah. and swords for boss fights so I guess let's Colin wants to know if we're watching anything this weekend. I don't think we are, are we? It's no. Busy this weekend. Gotta fucking go do family shit again. Which we have. Yeah, put off. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like, we've put off your family shit, uh -huh. so we gotta, like, do that now. Uh, I'm gonna give her this. I'm going to give him this. And I'm going to give you... Uh, Dark Knuckles. Dark Knuckles. Is that a Sonic character? Yes, yeah. yes. I'm going to give you this Fire Axe. And then I'm going to drop... I'm going to discard that. I'm going to discard this pipe going to discard this hammer because these items we've been using a little bit so you know they're probably at least a little worn out all right can i have the fucking dragon statue now thank you okay so don't know what that's for 
Yeah, you have a lion statue which says it's it's scratched like it was trying to be shoved into something. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, let's see what the dragon statue says. Heavy brass, oh yeah, same thing. It's, it's been forcibly shoved into a container or opening of some sort. Yeah, so I assume there's a puzzle somewhere that where we're going to have to place some. Yeah, it's just statues. like I, I can't find the puzzles. Yeah, like we found a puzzle and we don't understand if we have the whole solution or only part of it. Picture of a sinking ship. Oh. Hey. Hi. Yes. I guess I didn't look at this picture hard enough last time. She was a pleasure boat that went down in a terrible accident in the Thames. This one, too. And this one. What's going on? They're all the Princess Alice. <laughs> Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, God. What is going on? I, I, I don't know, Kadelka. <laughs> Didn't get anything from that. <laughs> no. No, that that cutscene gave us nothing. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all that's in this room. Outstanding. <laughs> like, Find I feel like furniture. <laughs> yeah. I feel like every little piece of like lore or cutscene or whatever we get is just more confusing. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to mean anything. Like, which is fine. Like, it's, you know, it's, 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 I'm, I'm here for this atmosphere for sure. Has anybody seen the Batman yet? I don't think so. Probably not. I feel like if anybody's seen it, it would have been Jeff, but... Colin says he saw it, but he could be lying. Well, don't tell me anything about it. <laughs> Do not interact. <laughs> I have HBO. I have the HBO streaming service, so it's supposed to come out at the end of next month on that. So I will certainly be watching it then. So it's his favorite superhero movie now. I've heard it's really good. Um, I, I think I will like it. I think I will probably have a lot of opinions that don't matter on it, <laughs> but 
I think I'll probably like it. Um, he says it was a good crime drama, and it has Batman. Yeah, I mean that's the same thing that was said about The Dark Knight when it came out. When it came out, and I still, I still really like all of the Nolan films. Um, as time goes on, I have I take more issues with parts of Dark Knight Rises, but I still think it's a pretty solid film. But uh I think I'll I think I'll really enjoy the new one too. Um I saw a deleted scene. There's a deleted scene that they've put on YouTube now that the movie's been out for a minute that I found really intriguing. Uh which you can like look up. But I'm really into, like, most of the, uh, the cast of that, of the new movie. So I think it'll be really cool. I wish they had just let Danny DeVito be the Penguin again. Yeah, I would have watched <laughs> Danny DeVito as the Penguin. I, I have, of course, wished that the rumors could have been fulfilled and we could have seen... Philip Seymour Hoffman is the ping one, but obviously, whether that was going to happen or not, it can't happen now. So. I mean, if Disney buys DC, they can make it happen. Jesus Christ, yeah. Boom. Um, but yeah, they've got, I read the other day that they've got, uh, They've got two sequels to this to this Batman movie planned already, and they've got a. Uh, I can't wait to see Robert Pattinson bitch about that. They've got a, a show in produ in pre production for HBO. Um, I I don't know what the show is going to be, but I I heard that there's going to be uh, a Colin Farrell led Penguin miniseries. Mm on HBO, so I don't know if that's the show that they're talking about, or if that's another thing they're going to do. I hope the Penguin show is going to be called Club Penguin. Oh, that would be fucking fantastic. I mean, canonically, he always owns at least one nightclub. Yeah. Um... So, you know, he could have a club penguin. <laughs> when people start laughing about the name, he beats him to death with an umbrella. Exactly. Yeah. It's just a, a vicious cycle. <laughs> Happens in every episode. You know who I would like to see as a villain in one of the one of the films? Who? Uh, Jesse Plemons. Who is that? He's Todd from Breaking Bad. We just watched him in The Power of the Dog. Oh, the main dude? Or... Like, in The Power of the Dog, Benedict Cumberbatch is... The, is the one brother, and Jesse Plemons is the oh, other okay. brother. He gained a lot of weight for that movie. Ah, uh, okay. Because, like, in, when he plays Todd Alquist in Breaking Bad, he's really thin, and he's a, lot, he's a little bit younger looking. But... Like, he's kind of, like turning into an up-and-coming character actor, you know. Uh -huh. Who did you say as? I didn't say as anybody. Oh. I just said as a villain. So, like, we can come to this greenhouse... But I think that's it. I think that's... Like, there's no exit to this greenhouse, I don't believe. I still want to see Steve Buscemi as a uh, Jarvis Tetch. 
I would definitely watch that. I would. I mean, I would watch Steve Buscemi as anybody. I love Steve Buscemi. Yeah, I feel like we're just gonna have to go back to that floor puzzle and just keep trying like, shit. Like, like brute force it. Because, like, it gives us pretty much the whole answer. And I think there's only a couple of ways you can proceed along the path it doesn't show you. Yeah. It just feels weird that that's the path that you have to go, but I don't know. Yeah, like, you're just not finding... Anything. Well, you are finding new shit, but it, it's more... Yeah, it's just more cluttering. More shit that's not helping. Yeah, my inventory is so cluttered right now with, with shit I can't use. I just don't know what to do. Better just start shoving shit into shit. Bend over, James. Here comes the dragon statue. that a bad dragon call that a bad dragon i'm gonna go check the attic real quick just because we're here but i'm fairly sure all that was in the attic was the uh the map there's like a furnace over here and like it's making a noise well if you run around it clicking enough times eventually you'll get something that you probably should have triggered when you first came up here what if you had to fight it? That'd be kind of cool. Time to punch some bugs. Time to punch some bugs. I guess we just don't care about that. I don't know. It's just making a hell of a lot of noise. Uh Yeah, we're exporting wind. We have too much, and we're making it windy in Ohio as well. It's true. It's true. Check this dead guy again. Yeah, 
Just more pistol rounds that I can pick. <laughs> What? You know who I would want to see Jesse Plemons play? Who? Thomas Elliot. Hush. That'd be interesting, yeah. Why not Calendar Man? <laughs> Maybe Calendar Man. No, I bet he would I bet he would be a fucking killer, hush. Like that'd be really cool. Or he could play James Jr. Because you know he and he's he's a villain now. Gordon's son. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't remember who wrote it, but there's that there's that. Uh, it's one of the last pre. I think pre rebirth comics. It's called the Black Mirror, and it's about. James Gordon Jr. being a serial killer, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it sounds dumb, but it's it's really good. Gotham Psycho. <laughs> yeah. No, like, he's... he. It's not like that, though. Like, he's really fucked up. Like, he's got, like, really severe problems. Yeah, his dad's a cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah? If they did... Uh, rest in peace. Would you want one actor who's Bruce and uh, Batman of Zurin R, or would you want two dudes? I would want two dudes. I think that would be cool. I like who though. Yeah, because like, like you could pass it off. It it, it could be really ambiguous because he he does he never takes the mask yeah. off, right? But like. I don't know, because I'm tempted to say, like, a classic Batman actor. Like, I'm tempted to say, like... Like, you just pull somebody, like Clooney or... Mm -hmm. Or Keaton or somebody to do it. But I don't know. Like, I like I would say Kilmer, but he's not in any, in any shape to do that, unfortunately. Yeah. Kevin Conroy. I, I I always want Kevin Conroy involved. Fucking put Kevin Conroy in the... Just put him in a Batman suit and, and do the voice. That's who I would want. Kevin Conroy. Uh -huh. That'd be fucking sick. I mean, you don't even have to use Kevin Conroy's body, I guess. You could do like a Darth Vader yeah. thing. But, but his mouth is going to be visible. I don't know. I would use Kevin Conroy. I think that would be fucking sick. Oh my god, this thing has silenced everybody except for James. And I can't get to James on the movement order. I mean, at that point, I feel like I would just use uh, Hamill for the Joker as well. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, he cuts his face off anyway. <laughs> that makes me want to reread Rest in Peace. Rest in <laughs> Peace was really cool. It's, it's so... It's so stupid. <laughs> but it's... But it's Graham Morrison, so it's excellent. Mm -hmm. Who? <laughs> what? I know this is not Rest in Peace. This is a different Morrison story. Uh, what is that villain's name? The Flamingo? The fucking Flamingo? <laughs> Who would play the Flamingo? Graham Morrison plays the Flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> or Jeff, or, um, 
Roger Waters. Not Roger Waters, not Jeff Waters. Who's the other guy? Who am I trying to say? I don't know. Who's the Who's the Pink Flamingos guy? John Waters. John Waters, yeah. Sorry, Jeff Waters is the guitarist from Annihilator, and Roger Waters is the guitarist from... Oh, you said Jeff. I, yeah, I yeah. thought you said John, my bad. Yeah, and then, and then Roger Waters is the dude from Pink Floyd. Right, you need more agility, my friend. Okay, what what is what is this door? This is the puzzle, right? Do you remember? Um, well, I guess we should discuss this first, and I'll say it after. See, it's it's a three by three, or no, it's a three by four, a four by four. What are, you, what, are you, what are you saying? This is only the bottom half yeah, of yeah, yeah, the yeah. puzzle. But the way, like, if you're supposed to follow the red, because it's, it's the only one that touches everything. Because you, you got to go here, here, uh -huh. here, here. Yeah. And you can only, it continues upward. So you'd have to go on that arrow pointing up. And then, I'd, like, you may go to the beaker and then up. Or you may just keep going straight. I think we may have gotten disconnected. Oh, yeah. Look, is it still recording? It is, yeah, it's just our time started over. And it says welcome to the chat again. But my point is, from the four symbol, you would have to go straight up. So that answers the question about the step after that. But, you know, I'm not sure if... Because I don't understand what these blue lines mean. Well, I don't either. Oh, thanks, Mojum. What? Bertram told us that we are back. Oh, okay. Did you guys miss any good Batman Yeah, do you want takes? us to talk more about <laughs> boring-ass comic shit? <laughs> like more Because I'm going to as soon as we stop talking about this. Like more about mid-2000s DC comic arcs that nobody's read but me. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, what are the blue ones? Maybe I'm supposed to be walking on the blue lines? But that's what I don't understand, because the blue ones are paired. Like, there's one that touches icons, and then there's one that doesn't. Yeah. And I don't understand what that means. Okay, so, like, you go up here, and then you go this way. And then you gotta go here. Yeah, so I don't know if you need to cross, you know... Like, I just... I, I like, like, there's no feedback, either. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I just... We just have so many puzzle pieces and no puzzles. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm just drawing a blank here, and I don't know where else to go. And, like, I, I just don't feel like it's doing anything to walk on that path. Yeah, like, it really sucks when you have puzzles like that, but it doesn't tell you anything. It's like, yeah, if you want to try the blue ones, try it. I just, like, for those over there with the yin-yang and the sort of star pattern, well, there's yeah, nowhere to go from there. Where do you go?
Because I feel like you did first try walking straight up this side with the sun and the Saturn symbol. not understanding something. What I was saying, though, was do you remember, like, uh, back before Man of Steel came out, and there uh, I don't know if there were rumors or if it was just people saying they wanted John Hamm to play Superman. Yeah. And, like, John Hamm's like, no one wants to see an old Superman. And you're like, I do. <laughs> like, what the, like, who the, f okay, first of all, that didn't make any goddamn sense. Because one of the, one of the, the most critically acclaimed DC comics of all time is Kingdom Come, which mm -hmm. is about an old Superman. Yeah. Um, so that, that's completely illogical. Also, John Hamm, I just would want to touch him because mm -hmm. he's beautiful. So I would love to see him play Clark. I mean, I liked Henry Cavill as, as Clark, but I hated that movie. Well, Motris says they're on the fence about Pattinson still. Uh, they liked The Lighthouse overall, but Pattinson didn't win him over. I I haven't seen enough with him. I really want to see that Cronenberg movie he was in, um, Cosmopolis. But I haven't seen that yet. Um, trying to think if I've seen anything else with him, too. Is Lighthouse the only thing we've seen with Robert Pattinson? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, he's in other stuff. Like, I'm tempted to watch that movie he's in with Tom Holland, but I don't know if I'll like it. I want to watch it because I've seen people say his accent changes up, yeah. in do, every Do you want to watch it? Because I'll watch it. Yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, we should watch it then. Like, I think I'm I think I'm think not going to like it very much. Yeah. Um, just stylistically, I don't think it's a movie that's going to jive with me very well. I've just seen the first Twilight. I want to watch the Twilight movie. Oh, oh God. Yeah, we really need to watch Twilight because I, I just... Because we hate ourselves. I feel like it's a journey that needs to be taken. It's like, at least the movies look funny, whereas the books are just Mormon propaganda, I think. Correct, yeah. <laughs> you know what he's in that we do need to see is Tenet. Because mm -hmm. we haven't seen that. I just think uh, Robert Pattinson is hilarious. Like, everything I learn about him is so funny. Just his personality? Yeah. I saw a gif from the movie Cosmopolis the other day where he's just, like, sitting somewhere and he pulls out a gun and puts a hole through his hand. <laughs> Like he just shoots, he just shoots his left hand point blank, and, okay. he, and he's just looking at it like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> huh? I think this enemy got silenced. Yeah, because it was flashing silence on the side of the screen, but it was cut off, so it just said E, 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 E. e, e. e. <laughs> Dolphin noises. <laughs> I'm trying to think of more stupid Batman villains. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Isn't there one called Firebug? Firebug's not a stupid villain. Oh, okay. No, Firebug's cool. Firebug's like an arsonist and he's got like a... <laughs> eat, my, eat my whole ass. <laughs> Firebug's cool. He flies around and shit. I wish every villain in Batman was the like with the Joker. Like they did the Joker shit. They just had their own theme. But like not even. 
like you know there's there's what the joker does and then there's like what the scarecrow does but what if the scarecrow i guess he does do that shit. No, like, what, <laughs> what, I, I don't i don't follow your i don't follow what you're trying to say <laughs> like like uh scarecrow doesn't work cause scarecrow does do the same shit okay because <laughs> like there's like the the uh like the joker gas oh and stuff but like what if every single villain does that yes, yes, scarecrow yes. does do that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, what if there was two face gas? Uh-huh. <laughs> what if there was penguin gas? <laughs> I assure you, there is penguin gas. <laughs> like, what if penguin just shot gas out of, his, out of the tip of his umbrella and it made you short? <laughs> <laughs> we have made zero progress in this game. <laughs> All we've done is found a statue. I mean, you don't want to look at guides, so we just do this until you figure it out. Like, like at this point, we just need to leave this castle and go to a flea market and sell this shit. <laughs> That should be an option in more video games. <laughs> <laughs> Just sell all the shit, all the puzzle pieces you find. That would be a, a a cool concept for a game. If anybody out there is looking for a concept for a game, it's like starts like this, where you're in a mansion or some shit, but like there's no goal. You to, just to find, find it. You just find bullshit. Then you go sell it in a little booth at a flea mall. <laughs> and that's the most game. Most of the game I is mean... haggling with people. I mean, that's, that's like Moonlighter, right? Like, you go through a dungeon and you yeah, collect shit. Yeah, but you're getting, like, sticks. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I found this rock. Uh oh. It's not you going, this is a statue from a mansion built in the 1800s. It belonged to so-and-so. Antiques Roadshow, the RPG. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Simon the Pieman. He's still a Batman villain. <laughs> or have we agreed to forget about that dude? I don't know. I don't know if Simon the Pieman is still a Batman villain. To be also, honest. how come Bat or not Batman, but Superman doesn't use his spin real fast and drill through the Earth powers anymore? Why doesn't he use his Superman 1 powers and fly around the Earth and turn back time and erase people's memories? I don't. Well, why doesn't he? I don't know. <laughs> Why does a Batman wear a lead mask anymore? Because <laughs> he don't want to get lead poisoning. <laughs> oh, you think Bruce gives a fuck? <laughs> He's probably got a lead intolerance. Is that from Rest in Peace? I switched our teacups. Force a habit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, he's, he's, he's parlaying with an avatar of Dark Side, and they, they try to poison him. God damn it. I don't know what to do. Like, what is that that thing over there? The big, like, mirror or chair or whatever that I, is? Nothing. Oh, okay. It's just a thing. It's just Doesn't a... it look important? Yes. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're going to go back downstairs. Where's the peanut man? We haven't seen the Peanut Man all stream. We haven't seen the Peanut Man in a minute, huh? Upside down Peanut Man. Killer Elephant Man.
Yeah, we watched The Brave and the Bold a little bit. I Brave. loved Aquaman and that. Oh, yeah. Brave and the Bold is fucking awesome. Like, I, I love that era. I say era, but it's pretty long range of time there. But that, you know, up, up until the DC animated stuff started getting more adult, I really liked it. But I, I find the adult animated stuff to be kind of soulless. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, Batman the Animated Series, Superman in the Justice League, um... The Batman, Brave and the Bold, um... What was the Justice League thing that came between Brave and the Bold and the Justice League series? The, the Bruce Timm series? Justice League Unlimited? Yes. That show, that's, that's the fucking one. Mm -hmm. Justice League Unlimited has such deep cut... Uh, characters. I love it. I feel like, isn't the first episode of Brave and the Bold uh, got Gentleman Ghost? <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Gentleman Ghost fucking rules. <laughs> Tira says the tick. The, the tick is my favorite uh, Batman cartoon, yes. <laughs> Didn't they do a revival of the tick? Um, a while back. On Amazon, so. maybe. Yeah. Who's Good that old. motherfucker who did his voice? Patrick Warburton. Was it him? Who's um... he, he plays him in the show. Oh, okay. Because, like, the, the Tick was was and is now a live-action show. Uh, okay. And there was also a cartoon. Yeah, I remember the cartoon. Yeah, but, like, Warburton played him. Oh, <laughs> Mochum's a Plastic Man fan. Ooh, Eel O'Brien, you say. I do enjoy the superior it. stretchy individual. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Reed Richards. You want to talk about comic book opinions? I'll bust out some fucking comic <laughs> book opinions right now. <laughs> I fucking love American comic books because I'm a fucking idiot. I just haven't I haven't read stuff consistently in a while. Does, uh, what is his name? Who? Badar. Diedrich Bedar? Does he not voice somebody? He voices Aquaman. Aquaman? Yeah. Diedrich, okay. Diedrich Bedar is Aquaman. I thought it was... Because, you know, he's the cat... was DiMaggio. No, no, it's the, it's Diedrich Bedar. Because, you know, he's the cat from, um... No, no, Diedrich Bedar is Batman. I'm sorry. Is he? Okay. Yeah, so DiMaggio must be Aquaman. Because I remember Kevin Smith interviewing Diedrich Bedar because he, he played... Because he interviewed all the Batman voice actors, you know? Yeah. And, like, yeah, because I remember listening to that episode with Diedrich Bedar and just being really taken aback by how much Diedrich Bedar loved to play Batman. <laughs> yes. It was like, like, he, he cried in the interview. He got choked up talking about what it meant to him to play Batman. What is the fucking shit he says in The Brave and the Bold? The Hammers of Justice. <laughs> yeah, he calls his fists the Hammers of Justice. <laughs> Hodelka, I swear to God, if you don't, like, find something, <laughs> if you don't tell me what to do. Fucking Moon Moon Knight show, but mm -hmm. I don't really want to get Disney Plus to watch it. Nah, I mean we can find other ways to watch it. Yeah. I 
like, I also want to watch, um, the Boba Fett show. Because I've seen a lot of people say they hated it, and I've seen a lot of people say they loved it. Yeah. One of the reasons I saw somebody say they hate it was they're like, I don't understand why they've made all Mandalorians have hearts of gold. And it's like, I'm so sorry you haven't read any extended universe lore, what you poser. What does that mean? <laughs> like, you got exposed to one Mandalorian, who, which is Boba Fett. Huh. And that's, like, what you base your entire assessment on. Well, there's also Din. Is that what the character's name ended up being in The Mandalorian? I don't know. I mean... Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot there was also the Mandalorian show. I don't fucking know. But also, you're just a poser if you don't think that Mandalorians have hearts of gold. I mean, like, why do you want to... I don't know. Is okay. it just letting you pick this up now? Yeah, it says it looks like water ran down the wall, but I, I don't... I don't know what I did to make that happen. Also, I gotta fucking drop something to pick it up. I just picked up a dagger, didn't I? Yes. It's a mystic one, so it's double useless. You still don't know what to do with all these fucking statues, though. This isn't the area below that puzzle, is it? I don't know. I don't think it can be. Alright, I'm gonna save in the save room. Um, okay. So, what is this? This is the room where you get the doll, the first doll, I think. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything in here. There's probably like another doll in here. You didn't get the first doll from this room. You got the doll from the room upstairs, oh, I okay. think. Well, I mean, what was in this then? I don't know, but I don't think it was the doll. Or wait, is this the... Yeah. Like, I don't know figure what... Figure it out. Figure it out. There's so much shit over here. I know. But, like, I don't think you can actually interact with any of it. Like, the whole game looks like that to me. Like, it's just they've filled up the space to make it look more interesting, but then you can't do anything yeah. with most of it. No, I want to read comic books. This is a fucking curse. Every time we talk about comics, my brain's like, read comics until you die. Like, I've actually been thinking about reading some Batman stuff, because I still have. Because you constantly think about reading Batman stuff? I like Batman! <laughs> he lives in a lair. He lives in a lair! You ever think about uh, your boy Alfred shooting that alien? Yes. <laughs> All the fucking time. It was a predator. Oh, it was a predator? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah, because it's... Uh, I want to say that it's... I don't, I don't care. I don't know what that item is. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. I, I don't I don't want it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I wanna say it's Batman versus Predator 2. It's like a prestige style graphic like comic, you know, it's like a like a ninety page comic or whatever. It might actually be a three-issue miniseries. I don't know. But 
it's like the second time predators come to Gotham because, <laughs> well, you know, they they go to places to hunt in the summer on Earth, and Gotham gets you know you know the predators come to Earth to hunt when it gets hot. They do. That's how they hunt. So they come to Gotham because it gets hot in Gotham. Okay, but I gotta ask you, what's got Billy so spooked? What's got Billy so spooked? Fuck, I love Predator. <laughs> Predator is so fucking stupid. Stop making your goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. Store has been destroyed. It cannot be opened. Uh, Mocher says they picked up all their childhood comics from their parents' house earlier this week, and there was some weird stuff in there. Oh, I've got a lot of, like, I've got about three or 4,000 comics at my parents' house, and there's some weird stuff in there. <laughs> like, my mom was telling me the other day, like, uh, a bunch of shit got knocked over in that middle room where all my shit's stored, mm -hmm. including my comic boxes. And I was like, man, I hope some of those didn't spill out. <laughs> you know, there's one box that's just full of pornography. <laughs> oh, the meatball man. The meatball man. What kind of shit did you read when you were a kid, Motion? I started reading, because I, I was always into Batman when I was, like, a kid. Like, uh, the movies, like, the, the Schumacher films came out when I was a kid, and I was really into those, and I had just a, a ridiculous amount of Batman toys. Um, but then I got into Resident Evil when I was... 11 or 12 because I had a cousin who was really into it and I had also just gotten a computer at that time like a, we, we got like our you know our first household computer so I was introduced to like fan sites you know and uh, I learned that there were Resident Evil comic books so like I wanted to try to find those and there was a comic shop near our house, but of course they were like, you know, long out of print or whatever. But my dad was like, uh, hey, you know, there's there's Batman comics and you like Batman, you want those? And I was like, Yeah, I guess. And then I spent most of my most of my teens collecting comics. And like I started, like I started reading DC Comics pre-Infinite Crisis. During it, it was it was during um, the Bruce Wayne fugitive Batman storyline, uh, which is one of the lead ups to Infinite Crisis. And then I I read through Infinite Crisis, and then got pretty heavily into collecting when Final Crisis happened and then kind of couldn't anymore because I went to college and I was broke and I've, I've picked it back up a few times digitally since then but I never stick with it because it's just expensive because I have a problem where I can't just read like one series I have to read like every series that's the way they want you to do it, unfortunately. Well, it is, but also I like that structure. Like, I love the, you know, the interwoven storylines, multiverse fucking structure of American comics, even though it, it's specifically built to make you buy more stuff. Like, I understand that, but I, I love it. Butcher says, just random issues of random stuff that look weird. Ralph Snart Adventures, Defenders of Dinatron City, Savage Dragon. Ooh, Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon's so fucking good. Eric Larson. Co-founder of uh, Image Comics. And also one of the only guys who's, who's still really... Well... I mean, McFarlane still owns Image Comics and still 
started riding Spawn again, but Eric Larson, like, that's all he's ever done. I mean, he's, he, 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 he's written every issue of Savage Dragon, and Savage Dragon's been published since the early 90s. Like, he, he's, I think he's written and drawn a lot of it, too. I don't, I don't know if he's drawn every bit of it, but I don't know what to do. I mean, like I said, I'll look it up at any point if you want, because I just, I don't, there's obviously something that we haven't triggered, but like, there's so much space that I don't know where it is. Uh, hang on, I gotta mute for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, Image Comics is unionized now, by the way. Like, recently, yeah. they became the first. That makes sense. I mean, they... Like, Im like, Image Comics is not without its problems. But, I mean, they were specifically founded yeah. to combat the issues of of ownership in the com in the American comics industry. Because it's, it's a dog shit system. Uh -huh. And, you know, they... They've done good things. Um, Neil Adams and Image Comics are pretty much the only reason that comic book creators get any kind of credit or monetary incentive to keep doing what they do. Moshe says they've been meaning to watch the Savage Dragon cartoon series. Oh yeah, that was a cartoon series. Might be a cool thing to stream sometime. I don't think it's. I don't think it went on very long. Look it up. Okay. I don't know what to oh, do. Like, I just. I have no I, idea. I, what I, to I've been running you. around for like an hour and a half. I have no idea what to do. Of course, I'm gonna have to figure out where you are. Yeah, it is a bad temperature. In it's not house. a good one. I'm. Gonna... All the ACs are on. Oh, I know. I know. My pants are not on anymore. <laughs> that's the that's the state we're in right now. Comic books, comic books, comic books. 
This guide says if you level up with the rifle, uh, you will end up being able to fire three rounds per turn. So if that's something you're interested in. I don't know. I mean, it just feels like a waste of ammunition. Yeah. Of course, I guess I've got a lot of ammunition. So. <laughs> Take another look here at our, at our items. Also, I guess we could equip JM or uh, You have the icon's earring, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean is it telling you where no, the I'm just trying to figure out where you are okay, based sorry. on what you have and what you've bought. Yeah, like the the icon's earring is like one of the first things that we got. Mm -hmm. Because like I'm at the, like you're on CD two. Yes. You got dropped into that room. Yes. You talked to that ghost. Yes. And you got the rifle. And yes. then it says you go and fight uh a boss and you get the icon's earring. Got it. Like, I've got this stone tablet that can be used with a printing press. And I've got this severed arm. You've got the evil horn. I mean, that's just a weapon. Yeah, but it's a specific one you got from a boss. Okay, yeah. Okay, and that's the dude that you shot. <laughs> got a music box. I've got Valma's doll. I've got a mask, and it says one. Like, it has a number over there. Like, you can collect multiple masks. I don't know what you do with those. Now, the goat here says that it's, it's in fine detail. It looks like it doesn't say anything about it being marred up from being shoved into stuff. Okay, um... Have you been into a room that looks like a library? I don't think so. Do you have the icon's crown? No. Okay. Look, I don't, I don't know where that would be, I guess. Like, the map is not that no, useful. No, um, it's... I think it may be what's on the opposite side of that pu that floor puzzle. Okay. It says, inside here there is a puzzle floor, but provided you looked at both clues on the wall at the top of the stairs and the box item. All you've seen is the okay, box Okay, okay, so let me go to the top of the stairs. Don't read anymore. I mean, maybe that's all I, that's all yeah. I, I missed. Because it says you will auto automatically remember if you've looked at those clues. Yeah, okay. Let me let me go let me go look at that then. Because that's what I'm thinking is like... Yeah, there's just a clue we've missed somewhere, but I don't, I don't fucking know where. And I, I feel like even if you brute force it, it's not going to trigger if you haven't seen the Yeah, clue. that's a thing in some games where it's like, well, even if you figured it out, we didn't tell you how to figure it out, so you didn't figure it out. You could open the door, I guess, if you wanted it to cool off. Yeah. <laughs> Blow everything in the yard in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Like, my mom. My mom just called. That's why I had to meet the mic. And she's livid right now. Because it's, Because there's wind outside? Because there's wind outside. 
And she has, she basically has a living room set up on her deck mm-hmm. outside. Mm-hmm. So she's got like blinds up to keep the sun out. And she's got a TV out there and like furniture. And she hangs out out there all day. And that's, you know, that's fine. But she gets so upset when like it's windy and shit gets blown over. But it's like, you put a bunch of furniture that's why outside. why we invented houses. <laughs> like you put a bunch of furniture outside, dude. I'm sorry, but it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> It must be this. It must be that we did something that activated this fountain and it made that fresco statue thing wet yeah, and we got the goat out sense. of it. We got a soggy goat statue. It was goaded with the sauce. Goaded with the sauce. And by the way, this does say at the top of the stairs. It doesn't say what stairs. Uh, I mean, it's got to be these stairs, I would, I would assume. And I just haven't clicked the right thing. Who the fuck? Is that Nerd House? Going live? Yeah. Oh, maybe we can rate them when we're done. Wait, I think I see it actually. Didn't Mochum get uh, that Klaus comic I was talking about, uh, Velvet Glove Cast and Iron? Did you ever read that, Mochum? Uh, Mochum says, I keep seeing a commercial for Coke that uses the phrase, debate the goatness. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> You're <be> correct. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. <laughs> debate the goatness. I don't mean a goddamn thing. Was it Taco Bell? Like some dude, some higher up at Taco Bell who said it's on fleet or whatever. Ah, uh, I, I don't remember who that was. I know that was a thing somebody said. That's on cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> says yes only made it like five chapters in progressing slowly but really cool so far pretty cool so far cool Maybe that's not it. Like, are there stairs before you get to the room with the puzzle? Like, that's the room with the puzzle right there. Okay. Like, let me make sure that's not against this back wall or something. Okay, no, okay. So, like, you have to come up these stairs. And there's like a landing here. There's nothing here. Yeah, like you physically can't even see those walls. And then there's there's stairs over here, but it you know it just goes into that room, um, which is like the the little alcove between the rest of the house in this area. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back and look at every single fucking set of stairs.
yeah, I just, I don't know what stairs it's talking about. So let me backtrack once again. For real, we're going to play like for like two and a half hours or three hours. I'm going to solve one puzzle. Fucking rat. Is that the rat or the cat? Oh yeah, it's a cat, isn't it? I'm going to stab it with a sword. Wow. Very sad. Maybe by whatever, whenever you get to the next boss, it'll be easy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, so like I know if I go all the way back out here, there is another set of stairs. Oh my god, these fixed camera angles are killing me. What is this? Like, I have to have looked at this before. Yeah, there was something there. Yeah, it's nothing now, apparently. <clears throat> ah. Okay. <clears throat> so that's... Flask. Neptune. Neptune, Eyeball, Mercury. Right? Yeah. It's not exactly the Neptune symbol, but I don't know what else to relate it to. It's, it's like a, a trident. It's a fork. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a fork to twirl your spaghetti on. But it should show me that again, yeah. I think. And, like, it doesn't have the path. Right, you right, You just right. have to... But I think you should out. be able to figure it out. Figure it out. Like, that was just not an obvious thing to look no, at. No. So, I don't know, man. Maybe after you do this, the rest will become a little clearer. I hope so. <laughs> Another cat. Lousy with cats. <laughs> We, uh, we got its eye. You just took its fucking eye, huh? Some Edgar Allan Poe shit. <laughs> I'm so mad that we don't, I mean, I guess we could still potentially clip it, because we do have the video itself saved, but, uh -huh. like, we don't have a clip on our Twitch channel of teeth. Teeth. <laughs> teeth. <clears throat> I wish we had a clip of Infinite Stew. <laughs> yeah, that Edgar Allan Poe game was, was really cool. And kind of janky. Mm, yeah, I mean... Did it only show you the one? Yes. Okay, just hang on. Okay, I... Do I have to walk at an angle? Oh, okay, so it's telling you here. Okay. Yeah. So there's no way you could have brute forced that. Okay. Now I'm in the fucking library and it's a safe spot and I'm going to save. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mojum, we played the Dark Eye. I guess maybe that was before you were hanging around in chat. Yeah, it was middle of last year. Because Star Spawn suggested it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I know you were aware of it, but. 
<clears throat> but yeah, it's on our YouTube channel. Um, and it's it's just one video. Like we played through it in one sitting. Very cool game. Uh, I I had to do a lot to make that game run. I had to install a emulated version of Windows 3.0, and then I had to install a bunch of Windows 3.0 graphic and audio drivers. It was very complicated. And it still didn't run 100% right. Still didn't run 100% right. Like we had a lot of crashes, but and it was a it was a fun playthrough though. Yeah, like parts of the game just didn't happen as well. It looks as though there might have been a door here once, but it's gone now. Yeah, that's why I had to go and install all that shit because mm -hmm. like we started playing it one day and like shit just wasn't happening. Like the cutscenes were not. But happening. I mean, even after you did that, some of it still didn't work. Yeah. It just wasn't playable before. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, I accidentally moved him one space short of hitting that enemy. Spear. Mm, pea spear. Pickle spear. Mm-hmm. Mm, pickle spear. Yeah. Pickle pea. Pickle pea. Is this not a thing? There's like a note on the floor. But Don't worry about it's it. It's just not interactive. It's part of the pattern of that rug. Uh, ochre glass part. Ochre. Barely know her. Are you leaving? No, I'm covered in yarn. I gotta sort this out. The cat's eye is a is a weapon. What is that? Oh, what what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? She fucked the uh, stream up. <laughs> the chat got huge. <laughs> Chat's fucking huge. Well, how did I done this? How did I get here? I accidentally the chat. Accidentally the whole chat. <laughs> JMAC. JMAC said, yo girl, check out my huge chat. Check out my huge chat. Friggin' huge! Did I hit control by accident? A clock. Alright, this big obvious set piece clock can't interact with it at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't fucking worry about the clock. Walk along. Keep walking. Hey, what the fuck is that? Is that a little man? Hey, are you just a little man? Hey, are you okay, bro? <laughs> You're just a little guy.
<laughs> what a goofy looking little dude. You see a large relief with a piece missing in the middle. I I I have out of all the shit I have, I don't have the piece to go in here. I guess okay. <laughs> you piece of shit, motherfucker. Uh, J Max says he saw a speed run of this recently and. Thinks the eye is a really good weapon. Oh. Like he says, if he recalls correctly. Interesting, interesting. So don't toss that one out. I will not. Like, I, I wasn't going to, because I just want to see what it looks like in battle. Kodelka's psychic powers activate in response to strong emanations. Okay. <sighs> she got a tummy ache. Damn it, said she saw your huge chat and got weak in the knees. Who said that? <laughs> J-Mac. Oh. <laughs> I fixed the chat. It's no longer huge. Average size chat. <laughs> Elaine. I, I just want to make you happy. Will you marry me? Okay. <laughs> this game is wild as fuck. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, it's a real bayonetta like that. <laughs> Alright, we found a printing press. Oh, you have that tablet. That says it's reversed. So yeah, obviously, that's what I just okay. Printed. So the press prints the original map, a map of the old monastery, which was inscribed on the stone tablet. But it also said it collapsed the wall. Like they do. <laughs> yeah, it collapsed the wall on the other side of the room. You're printing too hard, girl. Girl, why are you printing so hard? You found disc. You got disc. Alright, the door is being held shut by a mysterious force. Okay. Well, we'll keep going for as long as we can here, but at least we made some kind of fucking pro. Oh, we got a new enemy type over there? Is that a big scorpion? I 
I've never seen Eldritch Bop it up there before. No, I've, I've, fought, I've fought that guy before. Eldritch Bop it. I love that. Oh, this guy is barely immune to physical attacks, it looks like. Eldritch Bop It is my favorite Dax Rig song. <laughs> That's not true. The, uh, the barbecue song is my favorite yeah. text ring song. Greg! 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 Greg, bringer of Nog. Greg, 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 oh, fuck, I fucked up his name. Greg, bringer of Nog. Dark Souls boss health bar appears at the bottom of the screen. Claws? Clouds? Clouds. Oh, good. What? It's just the wind. I thought it had died down, but oh. picked back up. <laughs> Riffle rounds. The riffle. You still haven't used that brown glass piece. I've right? got three glass pieces now. Because you still have the red one. Oh, well, I just cleared out three inventory spaces, thank God. Well, that rules. Okay, so this door is unlocked, and that door or that plaque above the clock, when, when she was having that psychic vision, it, it opened up. Okay. Okay, so there's a boss in here. So let's go back for the time being and see what's on top of the clock. Okay. Greg asks how we're doing. We're doing okay, Greg. Um, we after two hours made progress. Yeah, like we we've, been, we've played for like almost two hours without making any progress in this game tonight, and we finally had to just fucking look it up. And there was some little corner of a room that I didn't look at to activate a puzzle the right way. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it didn't rise. I guess that was part of the vision. Hmm. So, I guess I, I... I think the only thing to do now is to go into this room with this boss. I mean, do you have a space you can save in? Uh, I think it activates a save in here. No, it doesn't. Or maybe in here? Alright, let's see how bad this is going to be. I just equipped the cat's eye, so maybe uh, maybe J Max information is correct, and we can make short work of whatever this is going to be. Maybe it'll be a cool design. They've all been pretty cool so far. But yeah, I've, I've, I've enjoyed... There's an unusual plant growing in the cracks of the bookcase. You can feel a faint pulse from it. Hey, that's rad. I like that aesthetic. 
strange pulsating plants growing out of bookcases. What do we got? Oh! Oh, look at this! Do they have a name for this enemy in the sky? Oh, four titties! The quad tit! The quad titties. This is like a chimera. It's got the. I think it's, it's got, literally called chimera. Okay, yeah, because it's got a dragon head, a goat yeah. head, and a lion head up there. It's goaded. It's goaded. Is it busting it down sexual style? It, it's busting it down pretty sexual style, I'll be honest with you. Oh no. I missed what happened. He, he missed with his, uh, with his magic. I don't know what that means. Is she gonna miss? Is this thing physical only? Oh no. That sucks. Okay. Well, I mean, you can switch them to guns or something. Or her, at least, to guns and him to... Yeah. I don't know how much you put into James's strength that may be better to just put them both on guns. I mean, at least she's super resistant to magic. Yeah. They should all be somewhat resistant to magic. says if you have good fire spells they should work against this enemy but I mean if they're missing there's no point to keep doing it and keep yeah, missing. It, it missed like what the fuck does that mean good fire spells like, I do have good fire spells Uh, J-Max says, uh, he looked it up, and the cat's eye boosts all magic stats, but it may not actually be good as a weapon. Oh, so I need to give it to one of the other. I need to give it to Kodelka is what I need to do. Yeah, I would switch James, or he Edward, to something heavy. Let's fucking give him this evil horn. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Does he need to move back to use that effectively? <laughs> Macaroni in the pot. So let's see what happens if I give her the cat's eye. If we die here, like if it's a total failure, I mean, we just... <clears throat> Excuse me. We just saved so we can just reconfigure. Okay, that did two damage. Mm. So that's that's nice. Um, so I'm going to move him forward and I'm going to just unequip his weapon. <laughs> Doing a lot of damage yet. God says, but if you're missing, then yeah, I would stick with, like, physical attacks. Because it's not telling me that it's immune to it or anything. Like, what it says is you need good vitality and you need fire spells, but you know. Hey, like, every fire spell is missing, so I don't know what that means.
he's missing with this axe. I think this is a fire axe, actually, so... Uh, that may be why he's missing. I don't know. So, so far, you aren't hurting it, and it's not really hurting you. Yeah, like, nothing's really happening in this fight right now. The rifle did zero damage. Mm. Just take everyone's weapons away and have them fucking beat the shit out of it with their hands. Ah, there we go. I mean, that still wasn't awful. I'm so sorry, Tirith. Tirith says work is slow. Oh, Tirith, I'm sorry. I guess I'm going to switch him to a different weapon. Yeah, that makes it 867 damage. Well, maybe maybe that's what you should do. <laughs> Nothing Kodelka does does anything. I don't know what the fuck's happening with her. damage physically, you might as well try. Oh, shit. Don't do that, bro. Okay, yeah, that was Megalith, and I did a ton yeah, of damage. That killed it. Oh. I was expecting that to go on a lot longer. It's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, James. <laughs> Crossing yourself over here. Okay, so we got the icons crowned. Okay. And we can save, I believe. Okay, and I just, uh, like, I was checking a couple of other guides just to make sure there wasn't something about that boss I was missing. Before you leave, what I saw, one said, go examine the plants again, and you'll get a scene. Yeah. And then another one said, don't bother because it's not useful. Well, still, I mean. <laughs> yeah, like, why would you not? This one's glorious. Oh, like, I love the cutscenes with these people because they're just unhinged. Oh, 
Cunras Amphitheatrum Sapienta Eternae. What a collection of books. What a collection. May I ask what you mansion? something? What are all these? Ancient books on mysticism and alchemy. Ancient science. It's enticing, really. It's all about making gold from lead. It's just a ruse peddled by power-hungry tricksters blinded by greed. But in amongst the trash, there are some valuable works illustrating basic useful experiments for predicting the laws of nature. Predicting a time when all men will be treated equally. God's will. No room for this argument nowadays. James. Hermeticism. Kabbalah. Meaningless. Why? Why is it not here? What? Where else can it be? Are you looking for something? I don't understand. I don't understand. You don't understand. I don't understand. What are you grumbling about? You're acting really strange. Just cut the charade and tell us what's going on. I do not like this. We all have our reasons. Let's not delve into each other's personal affairs. I am not bound to please thee with my answers. Do all men kill the things they do not love? Hate any man the thing he would not kill? And I thought all outlaws read just simple, stupid poets. You read Shakespeare. You're smarter than you look. That makes two of us. James and Edward the same voice actor because they sound they, exactly the same. They voice. sound very similar. <laughs> I just so actively don't like these characters, <laughs> which is really funny. Like JRPG, even Kodelka? Char huh? Even Kodelka? Kodelka is fine, but uh -huh. he's not like JRPG characters are usually pretty mellow and uh -huh. like altruistic and shit. Uh -huh. And these people. Just mean to each other. Yeah, like they have sad backstories, and yeah. you're supposed to have sympathy for them. But like those two are just assholes, and Kadelk is like, "You two are fucking assholes. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up." Huh? Are you making fun of me playing Dragon Quest last night? <laughs> Who are you telling to show up in Dragon Quest? Everyone in the village. <laughs> oh yeah, you planted those tomatoes, and everybody like had to come tell you about it. Okay, so like now we've got we've got the necklace, the earring, the ring, and the crown. Um, we've still got one doll. We've got a disc. Oh, wait. There was a door that was held shut by a mystical force. And that's usually what opens up when you kill a boss. Where was the door? Was it upstairs? Meatball Man is back. Meatball Man, Meatball Man. Big Meat is back in town. I don't want to fight that man. I want to fight that man. I can't, can't do any damage to this guy. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, I had the cat's eye equipped last time, man. Never mind. You 
got the crown from that. Yeah. So like this guide I'm looking at says use the relief piece above the clock. But you didn't get that. Well just just hang on. Because, like, I was looking back through the guide to see if maybe that happened to be something from the other area you missed, but there's nothing else in this guide about, like, picking it up somewhere. Like, literally, there are only two instances of the word relief in this whole guide, and one is uh, just used in a sentence, and the other is use the relief piece above the clock. That's a pretty bad band photo. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you, you guys gotta tone it down a bit. lost in video games. Yeah. Oh, triangular hallway. Have you been here? No. Okay. No, so this is the, okay. the room. It's locked and it won't open. So yeah, this is that's the door that killing that boss unlocked. Missing one more piece. Yeah. A ton of them, though. The door won't open. It looks like it's been designed to open using a trick mechanism of some sort. Okay. So now we can go back and activate the clock thing. What? Motion pointed out that there is zero percent chest hair between any of those band members. <laughs> oh yeah, they are they are clean shaven from the neck down. I don't think they had nipples either. Nipples are not very black metal, I'm sorry. Is that a little tiny flying horse? That's the Jersey Devil, baby. That is the Jersey Devil, ain't it? I'm gonna go punch the Jersey Devil in the fucking face. Right in the schnoz. What Ben Franklin would have wanted. It's what Ben Franklin would have fucking wanted. <laughs> I 
Mm, squelchy noises <laughs> when this guy walks. Looks like they got pants on. They're a zombie, they do. They got pants full of liquid. Goddamn, James. <laughs> See that damage? <laughs> Fucking 2100 damage. James has had enough. I had to listen to this fucking nerd talk about books. <laughs> that was James. Oh, James, my bad. Same voice actor, same character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that's a, a that's a crow. It just has such a thick body. It looks like a horse. <laughs> Man, I love this game. It's stupid <laughs> as hell. It seems like it only gets stupider the further <laughs> the series goes. Yeah, it's just like this one is just fucking like crazy. Like I don't know what's going on. The characters are fucking weird as shit. At least you're starting to get rid of some of these items. Yeah, like we were having a real bottleneck of items in our... Puzzle items in our inventory. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm on the clock. <clears throat> Use the relief fees, yes, please. Okay, and then that should raise that, I believe. The music box suddenly starts playing by itself. I don't know, that's scary. I don't know what the fuck any of that shit is. She's not reacting to any of it. Door won't open. It's been blah, 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 blah. Ah. Uh. You step on the floor following the melody of the music box. The music box has stopped playing and appears to be broken. You throw away the music box. <laughs> Fuck that music box. Don't want it. What? What is that? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit! Is that a Dracula? Is that just a mummy? Cross your fingers. That was disappointing. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Savior! The secret of the Fomors from the bottom of the sea. Emigre! What? <laughs> oh my god! What a delightful fucking game. This is so good. What did he say? Something about the bottom of the sea. There's water at the bottom of the ocean. Did you say immigrate document? What do you know about the immigrate document? Where is it? Answer me. Immigrate document? <laughs> is that what you've been looking for? Hey, you crotchety old fart. I am sick of this. You don't want to talk? Fine. <laughs> I'll slit your holy throat and leave your body for the rats. Edward. I have no choice. 
here it is. I'm on instructions direct from the Vatican. There is a manuscript. It's said to be somewhere in the building. And that manuscript is? Right. It's called the Immigrate Document. Is it very important? For hundreds of years, it was kept deep inside the Vatican Library. No one was allowed to read it. In fact, many people thought it didn't even exist. That's weird. So why is it here now? Somebody stole it. Stolen? From the Vatican? Right. No way. Not many people could steal a thing like that from the Vatican. You really have to know the place, or have enough money. <laughs> According to our secret investigation, however, the wealthy gentleman who purchased this monastery bribed someone within the Vatican to steal the immigrate document for him. Wealthy gentleman? Yes. Patrick Hayworth. My friend. But it's not like it was priceless art or something. Why would he be interested in a thing like that? For years, Patrick has dabbled in mysticism and alchemy. He's on the brink of crossing the line and playing God. Playing God? Creating life, Edward. It's thought that the ancient druids' forbidden secrets on eternal life and resurrecting the dead are contained in the immigrate document. I can't believe that. Of course, it's just silly superstition. That's why I'm here, to try to convince Patrick to drop his dangerous experiments and return the immigrate document to the Vatican. Wow. You'd never guess that a lunatic like that was living here by looking at the place. According to the caretakers, he lives in the building next to the temple. They said that? Yes, they're terrified. With all the crazy things going on around here now, they haven't even seen Patrick, yet they feel indebted to him. They've asked me here to see if I can save him. So that's your story? I don't know. One more mystery that needs unraveling. I just like how incredulous she was. Uh -huh. Like, is it is it important? <laughs> from the Vatican. From, from the fucking Vatican. Like what the fuck? Alright, I think that's the last glass bar I needed. Ego Buster Kudelka. Yeah. <laughs> Ego Buster. Is there nothing else in that room? Did you go this way? There was a cutscene. What more did you need? <laughs> Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. No, I guess not. All right, let's go. <laughs> From the back. James, you fucking idiot. room unlocks. There are Greek letters written on each of the five pieces of glass. They must be the key to the lock that had Greek letters on it. I don't remember where the fuck that even is. Do you remember? No. Can you look at that again? Because otherwise I'm not going to remember it. I, I mean, know. I guess it'll probably show you, maybe. What is that? Um, it's like... It's like a cobbled together yeah. kill animal. It's fucking cool. Yeah. I wonder 
if I can find concept art for this. Uh, I don't know, but it'd probably be worth looking up. I bet there's some nice stuff. Mm -hmm. Or at least maybe try to find out who did the concept art. I don't know. Her flare spell leveled up again. Hell yeah. So it costs 32 points to, Jesus. Yeah, to use now. You need her uh, ultimate weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to get high listal now, though. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there because, like, that was all of a sudden a whole lot of progress. Uh -huh. and we're in like a whole new area, so hey, that's cool, though. Um, excellent. Um, let me see if Nerd House is still alive. Yeah, we, we can, can raid, raid them because I think they are. I think they're playing Persona 5. Yeah, that's what it said. It's just I know they're the same time zone as us. Yeah. They kind of stop around the same time. Go ahead and go to our... Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. And, and mute our output. Because I'm going to go over to their channel right now so I can see it as well. All right, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Hey, yeah, thanks. We'll be back uh, Friday. Friday with Gami Tensei, and whenever, like, we got, like I said, family shit we got to go do um, Saturday. But when we get back Saturday, I'm gonna play Tunic. I think they're offline. Oh well. Wait, that this is not them. No, there's an underscore. Oh, okay, my bad. Hang on. Okay, they are alive. My bad. Did they make it to affiliate? I just didn't think it showed the prime icon unless you were subbed, but um, I mean, you would know if you were subbed to their channel. I mean, I don't have a sub option. Okay. 